What's up, buddies? It's your boy, Mikael, and Bunny Tarot, and this is your full moon reading, okay? Let's get started. Okay, first card. Going with the flow. Indeed. Yes. Yes, going with the flow. See that? Going with the flow, indeed. Okay, let's get another card, see if it's up. Guilt reversed. Okay. Wow. See that? It's guilt reversed. Look at that picture. Got it reversed. Maybe. Now, this is what's interesting. Um, Earlier tonight, I was taking a walk under the moon in the milky night, you know, and um, I was, I took a walk to the grocery store to Trader Joe's, you know, to buy Piero some food and myself some dinner, and um, a memory came back to me, and it was a memory that I had completely forgotten about, okay, and this was when I was in high school. And we had this foreign exchange student staying with us. My family had him staying with us. And I was so wrapped up in my own bullshiz, basically, that I never paid attention to this guy, okay? This guy was from another country. Um, and he needed a friend, you know? And I was so wrapped up in my own bullshiz, okay? I was just... So it was a mess. And my mother, my parents, they, they, they were just not very aware, I guess, of how to navigate the way I behaved as far as when I interacted with other people. They never put time into that. They were so wrapped up in their own bullshit, too. So I had felt, when I was walking home, I had not remembered this for years. I completely forgot about it. And the, the memory came back. I saw that guy's face in my mind. And I felt horrible. It was awful. I felt horrible. I, I was thinking about... Because I, I remember the look in his face. But I was just so like, uh, Like, you know, just all I wanted to do was go out to the club and, and pop XC pills. And just, you know what I mean? I was just not... I was very selfish. Okay. And I felt... And it's just... It's not by accident that this card came up, the guilt reverse, and you, maybe many of you are feeling that too. Things are bubbling up, you know? The karmic debts that we, that we owe are coming up to the surface, right? And it's a good thing. And that's why we're going to be going with the flow, okay? Because we're not going to be able to flow, you guys, babies, until we completely take complete and total um, res responsibility for our actions, and our even, I think it's our past actions. And it's not even about that we necessarily were bad. I mean, I was a kid, you know, I didn't know any better. And, but now that I do know better, and I'm, and I'm, and my mind, my process, my subconscious emotions have brought it up. It brought it up for a reason, right? That's that moon energy. That's that full moon energy. It's bringing up what's beneath the surface and it's bringing it up. See, and then, and then we realize what our karmic, the karmic debts that we have. And you know what it made me realize? A lot of the shit that's happened in my life that I've been through, I thought about how that guy felt. And I thought about how many times that I feel like the way I made him feel so much in my life. I felt overlooked, just ignored, um, not included. I was always, you know, I was always a misfit. And, it just made me realize, you know, wow, the way it works, right? The karma, the karma debt, you know, the, that wheel of karma. So I think what's going on here, babies, is we are, this full moon particularly, it's going to be bringing stuff like this up. The things that we did wrong, the things that we have to be held accountable for. I'm about to sneeze. Or I was about to sneeze, okay. Uh, that's a sign, right? See, having to sneeze. The things that we need to sneeze out. It's like, it's like needing to sneeze, but not being on the brink of sneezing. That's what that kind of karma is like. It's a perfect analogy. It's like you, you need to sneeze. You need this out. You need it out. 
right? You need to process it. You need to take the responsibility for your part of it. And it doesn't matter how old we were. Yeah, of course we were young, but it's still the energy, right? It's this is about, this is about our soul and the divine mother and the divine father, the begotten match child of the universe, that holy trinity, sacred geometry, trying to bring order into our lives. Okay. Trying to clean things up for us so that we can go with the flow babies. Okay. Next card. Awareness. Perfect. So perfect. Look at that. This lighting's really bugging me. I'm trying this new camera. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like this new camera. <laughs> I don't. I don't like it. It's like an HD camera, but I don't like it. There is awareness. So, perfect. Why is this happening? Why is guilt, past guilt coming up? Because um, we are being made aware of it. And why are we being made aware of it? babies because the full moon's bringing it up that's a lot of subconscious muck that we have that we ourselves it's hurting us you know subconsciously it's hurting holding us back we need to purge it out we need to process it we need to see our part of it and we need to forgive ourselves right we need to forgive ourselves and and send out the energy to whomever we've hurt in the past um whatever we've done wrong in the past send out that energy and of uh, the repentance kind of energy, you know, like a repentance, Re repent for it. What, the, what does that mean? Repenting means basically admitting your mistakes, admitting your mistakes, admitting it and letting it go so you can move on. So you can be free of those shackles, right? Okay. Let's get another card. Well, okay. Two popped out. Wow. It's just so, check this out, you guys. Um, all oh, the synchronicity is just unbelievable. We got the Thunderbolt, which would be the Tower card in the in the Rider Waite, and we got the Outsider. Look at that! See that? The little the little boy outside the gate. You know it's so weird. I did a, a photo shoot years ago, um, and it was me standing outside the gate, just like this, outside of a carnival. There's there was a carnival late at night, and we we did a photo shoot there for uh, one of my songs. And this was the image. It's interesting. Wow. How am I gonna interpret this? Well, the thunderbolt in this deck, it's the tower, but the way it's just, the way it's depicted in here. Yep, closer babies. Um, it's depicted as, see that? It's, a person, you see that the, this, this person and it's their chakras and it's, it's kind of like a Kundalini awakening. And then these two individuals falling out of the person, it's, it's that, that yin and yang side of yourself. We all have both the masculine and feminine in us. It's that, um, you're going through a process. That's the thunderbolt. That thunderbolt, it's like the, it's like the Kundalini rising. It's like, she goes up your spine and, and it wakens your, your, your eye, right? It makes you aware of of everything. So, um, I what's what's happening here is you're 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 being cleansed. That's why this guilt is coming up. You're being made aware, and you're being cleansed. You're being cleansed. Your, your chakras are being purged out, cleansed out. All this, see these two people falling out. All the former stuff, all the gook. It, it's being it's being purged out with that holy fire, right? That holy fire of, of that kundalini. And then we got this, um, the outsider. Okay. And what I'm being told here is babies, you guys have always felt this way, right? Like the outsider kind of looking in. See that gate's locked. I'm being told that this is about to change. And that's part of the thunderbolt. This is about to change. The, the gates of Xanadu are about to open up to you. Well, that's bringing some clear audience in. It's bringing that. It's a song. Okay, baby. It's a song. It's, I'm going to say one of the greatest songs ever recorded. It's called Xanadu. X-A-N-A-D-U by Rush. The band Rush. One of the most historical, greatest bands ever of all time. Some of the greatest musicianship ever. Listen to that song. It's called Xanadu. Listen to it by Rush and trust it's a journey. It's a journey and it's an amazing song. So that song came to mind and it's all about that. It's about the gates of Xanadu, this, this, this magical world or magical city that's unlocked them 
it's a, it's an amazing song. It's a brilliant like it's it's a psychedelic experience. You listen to that song. I, I'm I'm feeling that it's it's meant to, you guys are meant to listen to that song. Trust me and listen to it on headphones. It's just so phenomenal. Okay, so let's get another card. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, multiple cards popped out. Do I take them? They said, no. They said, don't take these ones. They told me no, okay. But they told me to take this one, and it's a good thing, because guess what card this is? This is the card of abundance. See that? Abundance, babies, okay. Oh, I hate this light. Very, very camera, but I don't like it. Um... There it is. Abundance, babies. Okay. Abundance. What's this all about? This is about unlocking you from outside the gates of Xanadu, outside the gates of that, that pearly city, that, that, that magic city. It's about unlocking those gates so you can come into your abundance, babies. Okay. All right. That's what this is about. That's why this guilt is coming up. Our former karma, and we're, we all have our debts, karmic debts, man. We, we can all be, we, we, we all got the monster. We all got the demon. You know, we all got it. So it's, it's, it's part of the process, man. It's part of the process, yo. You know, we go, we, 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 we need to learn from, from that. And, um, like, for example, what I was saying in my story earlier with me, I learned a lot from that just from walking home tonight. I was like, wow. What? I was such a douchey wooshy. That was a douchey wooshy move of me. I didn't know any better. I was so wrapped up in my own bullshit. But still, looking back at it, now I know better. And now I can, I can, you know, come to terms with that. And I make, I'm, I need to let it go. I need to forgive myself. Right? Okay. Why? So that we can come into abundance. So that we can unlock ourselves and set ourselves free. Okay? And, and allow ourselves into into that land of Xanadu, that song by Rush. It's a dope song, yo. I'm gonna listen to it tonight. So, next card. Okay. Do I take both of them? Yes or no? They said yes. Wow. Look at this, you guys. This is deep. We got the card of playfulness. I believe this is the, I believe this would be the page of wands in, in the um, Rider Waite. This card of playfulness, see that? And then we got, which it's pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of like the, the, the page of wands, creativity, a lot of new passion, a new sort of whimsy, a new sort of sense of youthful kind of exuberance coming into play for you. Why? Why? Because... You're like this little kid now, remember? Here, that little boy, the outsider, that little boy outside the gates wants, wants to get into that park. You know what I mean? You're like that little kid, you know, and once you get, once those gates, these gates are being unlocked for you, you know, because you, you're, you are, you are cleaning up your karma, you know, you, you are reviewing and going into that muck, into the, the <laughs> unlocking those vaults, right? And clearing all that shit out. And now you get to, you, you're going to be let in. You can be led into your Xanadu, right? And um, and that, what what does a kid want to do once he once he gets into once he gets into the gates of Disneyland? What does a kid want to do? A kid wants to run around and play, y'all. You want to go? You want to go on some of them roller coasters on Space Mountain, and you know what I'm saying? You want you want to fucking get get down to business, a playing, right? So that's what's going on with that. And then the next card. Is, Past lives, babies, past lives, okay? And what I'm being intuitively got to say is, see, um, what happens to us, you know, the things that we do, we are pretty much a product of our parents, and they're a product of their parents, and ad infinitum, right? Goes on and on, this ancestral curses, is what this is dealing with. That's what the past lives are here about. Ancestral um, curses and ancestral curses that need to be broken. That's what the guilt comes in, I believe, you know? I'm being told 
that you babies, um, you guys, you guys have had past lives in probably in the same bloodline that you're in, and you've come back. You've come back to rectify and to heal some of these ancestral curses. Okay. You are the one in your bloodline, your lineage, that's not going to repeat the same pattern that, let's say, your patterns, your, that your parents did and that their parents did and ad infinitum, right? You are the ones who are going to break the chain. You're going to break that chain, baby. You're going to break the chain to that gate. You're going to get into that Xanado, you know? You're going to, you're going to rush in, right? Next card. And this is, wow, interesting. Completion. This card is completion. Look at that. It's a puzzle. It's, all, it's about to be completed. But it's reversed. Okay. And what, what I'm being told here is that one last puzzle piece, just like in the picture, it's reversed because it, you, haven't, you, haven't, you haven't put in that one last puzzle piece. You guys have that one last puzzle piece to put into the puzzle and to solve your puzzle, y'all babies, to have a, get the full picture, right? And that's what you're doing. I think that's what some of this past guilt, uh, what I get, that's the theme of this, this reading. And it's a full moon reading. So it's the full moon bringing up that shiz that's, you know, underneath, right? So, um, that's the missing piece of the puzzle, babies. Was that was your karmic debts? The, the, the little things that we did, you know, even when we were a kid, those memories will bu bubble up and then we're able to go, oh my God, I can't believe I did that and cringe. You know, we go through the cringe and once we cringe, we can finally let it go. But imagine that cringe, that moment of cringe when you remember some of the bullshit you did. Um, imagine that just being back in the back of your mind all these years, the cringe just dwelling in the back of your mind. That cringe is like a topus. You know what a topus is? A topus is a thought form. It's an entity. Okay? It takes on a life of its own. The energy does. It's kind of like a parasite. Okay? That's what's going on here. That's why we got this card of the thunderbolt. Cause, cause that thunderbolt, that kundalini thunderbolt, that kundalini serpent energy, that fire energy is going to shoot up and it's going to purge all this shit out, y'all. See what I'm saying? And you're finally going to be able to put the final piece in the puzzle, y'all. Solve that puzzle finally, right? Get that full picture. Get that full panoramic view. Get into the gates of Xanadu, okay? Next card. Wow, perfect. Look at this, babies. It's the card, Three Birth. Rebirth, man. Rebirth. What's this full moon bringing? Rebirth. And it's perfect because it's the spring. It's, it's the full moon of spring. Just before the spring solstice, March 20th, right? I'm going to be doing a, a video on a Persian ritual for Nowruz, which is um, Persian magic. And it's the Persian celebration of New Year. It's Persian New Year. March, this is March 20th, Monday, I believe. So, and this is the full moon on the 18th. So it, everything is lining up, babies. Everything's lining up. You know, that the, the final piece is fitting in, okay? We're, we're letting go of all the bullshits. We're, we're purging it out. We're, we're taking accountability for all the shiz, all the little, the little creatures that we had stored up in, in our subconscious terrain. You know, all those little infections. It's like little infections, like little viral infections and shiz, right? And we're, we're getting purged out of our energy. Okay, let's get one more card to complete this reading. I want to keep this reading short and sweet. Wow, this is wonderful, you guys. This is wonderful. And you know, you know who this is too? It's going with the, the, um, page of wands, which is that playfulness card. It's sharing. And that's the queen of wands in this deck. That's brilliant. Look at her. And look at, this is so springtime. This is so spring solstice. Look at the energy. Let's get it up closer. Look at the energy of her. 
That's the divine feminine energy right there. That's the divine mother, okay? That's the, the queen of wands. That's that fire queen. We're dealing with some kundalini energy here, right? We're cleaning the shiz out, yo. And guess what? Because we're doing that, guess what's happening? Guess what? Mama, the divine mama, the, the divine mother, she is proud. I mean, okay, let's, let's say you're a parent, whether you're a, a male or female, femme, butch, whatever. Let's say you're a mama, okay, or a papa. I mean, when you see your child and your child is is taking responsibility and getting the gook out of their lives, what do you feel? You're going to be proud, right? I, I'm not a parent, but I'm just I'm just imagining. Well, that's how the divine mama feels, right? Because I'm feeling her energy. She is proud. That's why they're sharing there. This is this is being sharing. She's going to get ready to share some of that abundance. She's going to bring some abundance into your life. So you got the abundance card. She is going to share with you. She's going to share her abundance with you. Okay, the divine mama, you know, thank her. And just like, you know, this is her season, right? Springtime, okay? Just hug her, you know, energetically hug her and thank her, okay? I think that's the perfect card to end it on, babies. That's the perfect card to end it on. The divine mother saying she's going to get ready to share with you. And I love this card because look, it has all the sunflowers and she's got, look at that, I just can't stop looking at it. She's got all the shit to share with y'all. So that's the reading, babies, okay? Um, happy full moon, happy spring solstice, okay? And happy um, new year, because this is the actual new year, is springtime. Think about it, just to go by the seasons. But, um... Love you, babies. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and all that good stuff. Mwah.